Hello and hello. Welcome to the first official episode of Draft Hype. My name is Austin Mars, and I'm the creator of both Draft Hype and the Fake Field Goal Podcast. Today we are starting to make make our way through the list of players who are on the, on my draft board for this year. Today we're starting off with a guy named Michael P. Ryan out of the University of Florida. He stands at 5'11", weighs 227 pounds. So far this year, he has 392 rushing yards on 86 attempts with a 4.56 average yard per carry. And he has uh, four touchdowns so far in the year. He's on par to hit the same stats that he did uh, in 2018 with 826 rushing yards. Uh, on 134 carries with a 6.16 yard per carry average and seven touchdowns. Seen several games of this guy, and I have seen the game we're about to watch now. He is a back who I feel could be it could be a late round steal. He's not a perfect running back by any means. He's definitely not going to be a, a top 15 pick at all, but. He does have some talent that I believe is worth looking at. And so what we're going to do is we're going to examine the footage from this game right here against Vanderbilt last year. We're going to, we're going to look at the plays that he, he was a part of. We're going to look at his rushes and we're going to find the good. We're going to find the bad and we're going to find the ugly. And so without further ado, let's jump right into this. As you see, it's a second and one. This is going to be a, a play action Pass play here that unfortunately is, as you see, tipped and is now intercepted. We go to the second play. It's just a simple pass play. P. Ryan goes out into the flat. Quarterback can't do anything, though, because the rush gets to him. Second play here, we see this is another play action. The running back blocks. He does a great job of getting in the way. Let me just point out that that is something that is very important to look at in running backs. Are they active in the pass block game? Are they helping give their quarterback that little bit of extra time that they may need to get a throw off? You see here, he holds up number seven, lets his quarterback make the throw, and with forward progress, it's somewhat of a decent gain. Let's see here, we got the man in motion. Safety blitzes, and it's a run play, and he's able to break it off and get probably five yards. Let's go back and watch that again. So here we go. Let's pause it right here at the handoff. We see that the hole is right here. There's a linebacker right here waiting for him. He then tries to do a little juke and jive to get away from the linebacker. He's able to get by him just enough to get the first down. That's a good uh, a good job of noticing that the guy was there. The linebacker just popped out, and you can see he makes a little move here and is able to get the first down for his team and move the chains. Next play is a reverse. Blocks number three. Doesn't do too great of a job. But he keeps number three for me, the one that makes the tackle and helps get his guy get a, a couple more yards. Got a run play here. Good job of trying to find the open field, but nevertheless, he only got a few yards. Handoff. See, it's not looking like a good play right from the get-go. You have a guy here, a guy here, and a guy right over here. Three guys that can easily make their way into the play. He gets the handoff. You can see from his vision that he wants to go here. He does, fakes like he's going there to try and get the defender to shake off. But he ends up going this way. And then eventually number five is going to be the one who makes the tackle. Gets close to the first down. Makes it a nice third and short. Here we go. We're going to switch to the Wildcat. The quarterback goes out wide. P. Ryan gets the ball, and as is in most cases, the Wildcat doesn't usually work as he is stopped for fourth and one. But then, after the first Wildcat only got them a yard, they're going to try it again. P. 
Piran gets the ball again. And it looks like he's just barely able to get the ball across the line of scrimmage. <clears throat> so, questionable play call there if you're the coach. Wildcat didn't really work the first time. Why would you go back to it again a second time? But he was able to push his way to get a first down. So here we go. Continuing on with the film here. Running backs out in the flat. Nothing much to see there. Good pass by the quarterback to get a first down. First and ten here. Draw play. And wide open hole. Good job by the blockers. But uh, essentially he just gets pinched there. See right here at the handoff. He looks at the hole. He knows where he's going. And he just gets picked off by the safety in the cornerback. Let's look at it again. There wasn't really any way that he was going to be able to get away from that. It was a horrible blocking by the lineman here. Couldn't keep this guy contained. Safety coming down freely. There's just not much that he could really do there. Overall, though, good run. And here we go. He's in the flat, and he catches it. Gets up field. Good vision. As you see, after he catches the ball, you see that he could possibly use his down wide receiver as a pick. And he uses that to help get the extra yardage he needs to get the first down. It's almost like he sees that the the corner here is in a bad position, so he uses that to advantage, cuts inside, and is able to get the first down before the corner can turn around. Good runs the ball again. Good job of lowering his shoulder to bowl over his man. Keeps fighting and gets a nice nine yards on that play. You see right here at the handoff. He already knows where he's going. He's got a lead blocker right here. He's going to come right through here. The lineman takes out one linebacker, and it's just him and the mic one on one here. Lowers his shoulder, bowls him over, keeps his legs turning, and then he gets just taken out by the safety after a nice nine yard gain. That is a really good run play and really good blocking, really. Now the draw play. See the linebacker right here. Good vision there. I'd say that's really good vision. Let me explain why. Right here at the handoff, he sees this linebacker right here is hiding himself behind the lineman and is getting ready to explode through the hole and take out P. Ryan. What P. Ryan does is smart. When he gets to that area, he switches the lane that he's going to run through, and now he's going to go through here leaving the linebacker over here. Linebacker gets caught. And he's able to explode and get, looks like a good seven, eight yards out of that run. Smart play, good vision, good job of helping lead the defender to getting blocked and getting taken out of the play. First thing though, again, last time it didn't end too well. They're running it. And looks like P. Ryan is going to be stopped just short there. Don't think there's really much to see here. It's a little counter play. Actually, he didn't start off as a counter, but that's what it turned into being. As he's running, he sees that there's no lane. There's a linebacker right there. There's nowhere for him to go, so he's trying to cut back this direction and try to make something out of it. But number 73 failed to do his job. The lineman failed to do his job. He got shoved out of the way by the lineman. And it just was not the best play. The lineman just shoves 34 out of the way and is able to get to P. Ryan. Never a good idea. Never good to see your, uh, your lineman on the ground like that. So first and 10 here. We got P. Ryan. And... It's just a nice little play-action play. 
not much there to see. Little run play inside. Doesn't really get much. I think he's expecting a hole to be in this area right here. It looks like the linemen were trying to seal off this side. And the linemen are trying to seal off this side to break open a nice hole. But the linemen failed to do their job. Number 61 fails to do his. He ends up being stopped short. Here we go again. The play action involved in the pass game pushes the defender to the outside to let his quarterback get some running room. And the quarterback is able to shake a defender and get a first down. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that it's important that running backs are involved in the pass game. We see here linebacker blitzes and he's able to just push him to the side, buy his quarterback some more time. And the quarterback is able to shake that first defender. And he's able to run out of bounds and get a first down. That's a good that's a good heads up play. Running again, nothing there, nothing there, and he's able to find his way to through a little seam and turn something that should have been a loss into not a horrible game we see here at the point of handoff. There's not much going on. The linemen are trying to push. There's a guy over here, there's a guy here, there's a guy here, there's not much going on. But he's able to stay patient, and this little seam pops up right here, and he's able to find his way through it, keep his legs turning, and he pushes himself forward for a nice, nice gain. Takes the run again, tries to find a little seam, keeps his legs turning, legs turning, gets a first down. That's one thing I like about this guy. He keeps his legs moving when he's caught in a pile when he is running through the middle of the heart of the D-line, he keeps his legs moving and he's able to push himself forward. Let's watch this again. We see right at the point of handoff, we see his head is looking right here. He hits that hole, closes up pretty tightly, but he keeps pressing forward and he's able to get the first down on the play. That's a good run. We go again, play action play, running back involved in the pass game. Doesn't really have to do too much there. Quarterback gets a free pass and overthrows the receiver right here. P. Ryan is sent to the flat on motion at the snap. He's not involved in the play. Once again, sent in motion to the flat. This time he is involved in the play, catches it here. And this is what I like about this kid. Cuts up field. And that's why I think he has some value to him because he is involved in the pass game. Granted, he's no Christian McCaffrey. He's no Darren Sproles. But it's good to see that his quarterback trusts him to make that catch. You see here, this guy is coming free. He just turns on a little boost. Gets him out of the way. He sees this guy coming down right here, cuts up, makes another man miss, and gets some nice yards after contact. That's what you want to see out of a running back. I, I want to see how he does in the open field. When when there are no D linemen around and there are no linebackers, what does he do? And it, it's this right here. He makes guys miss. Changes up, changes direction, makes a guy miss, and he gets some nice, nice yards after after catch here. And, uh, and he gets some nice yards after contact too. And here we see that he does an amazing job of fighting his way to the end zone here, right at the point of handoff. You see, for some reason, he's looking over here. Apparently, that's where the hole was supposed to be, but the hole is not there. It's right here. So he makes a move, gets around that lineman, runs through the gap. This defender gets a hand on him and slows him down. He is one-on-one -on -one with this guy. He keeps fighting, stretches his arm out, and gets the touchdown, it looks like. That's not a fumble, because I believe he was down. That is clearly a touchdown. 
Ball crosses the plane. His body is not on the ground. That's a great run for LaMichael P. Ryan. And we see what's called a touchdown. Moving forward, another run play. We see here the snap right at the handoff. We see where he's looking. He's looking for his hole to be right here around lineman number 66. But he sees the defender breaking free, so he knows that's not an option. But he doesn't. I don't think he sees number 10 right here. Who comes and makes uh, a nice little tackle, but a nice, nice job of getting a nice little four-yard gain there. Set into the flat, quarterback throws it to him right here, and once again, open field. He's lethal. Breaks off a huge gain. Does a nice little juke to get out of the way of number eight. This is what concerns me. He runs out of gas. Any other running back, that should be a touchdown. But it seems like right after he makes this move, he starts to decelerate, starts to slow down, and then the defender is able to make a tackle. It's a nice play, but it makes me question whether or not he has the endurance to make a run that size. Because if, if that was in the NFL, that would have been a touchdown for most any running back. <clears throat> Here goes another reverse of him blocking. And it's just not a good play. Not good blocking on P. Ryan's, P. Ryan's side. Here we go. Faye, I, don't know, I don't know what that was, but it's a little option. P. Ryan gets the ball. Uses his blockers. Not much else you can do about that. Because you see here, you can't cut inside because there's linemen here. There's a linebacker right here. So his only choice is to try and go around. And as we see, the defender is trying to push his receiver to this side. And that's exactly what happens. And it limits P. Ryan to, looks like a four-yard gain. P. Ryan's again sent into the flat. Ball thrown a little high, but he's able to adjust to make the catch. He's able to fight and get very, very close to the first down. Let's see what happens right after the catch. He gets down. He's looking. He realizes that this is not an option. He needs to cut away. But 28 is able to break free from number 88 and wrap up and make the tackle. Run play here. Best decision is to follow the, lot, the lead blocker. He does. Squeezes through. And look at him. He keeps moving his legs. Keeps trying to move forward. But it's just a dead ball at that point. You see at the point here, he's got some lead blockers. He's got this guy right here. This guy right here. They're his lead blockers. The linemen, they're focused on sealing off this side of the gap. And we see that they're able to do so, but they're failing as these guys are breaking free. P. Ryan's able to squeeze through, but he gets slowed down and is then taken out. Another run with a fake handoff to the wide receiver. It just goes pretty much nowhere. Um, if you're following the ball, this is a fake reverse. Hands it off to his running back. The gap should be right here, but there's a but wait, there's a linebacker right here. So he's trying to adjust. His lineman kind of getting his way. Just not a good play overall. Got a third and three here. And Piran goes out into the flat once again. And his quarterback overthrows him. I'm questioning why P. Ryan decided to go through that gap. Because there was nothing there for him. We see him at the point of handoff. 
He's, he's looking to follow his lead blocker. His blocker right here is taking on number three. And he should have tried to bounce it outside. That would have likely been the smartest decision because number three is taking out the play. He's getting he's getting blocked at the legs. This lead blocker's got this guy right here. It would have been a smart decision to try and bounce it outside and get some extra yardage there because there's nothing here for him. But he is able to get a few yards and make it a nice third and short. Similar play, running with the lead blocker. He's able to fight and get some of those extra yards. Right here you see he's looking this area. But everything just kind of closes up. But he's able to make something out of it and get a first down for his team. Got a heavy blitz for a QB sneak. First down. P. Ryan really didn't do anything on the play. Except confirm what the ref said and it was a first down. First and ten at the goal line. Or right, by, right before the goal line. And P. Ryan runs a little pass play again. Nothing that he really did. And it's a touchdown for Florida. Good comeback, I might say. Run play. Cuts up field. Really nice play. Really, really nice play there. Uh, if you're looking at it at first glance, you're thinking that play is going nowhere. But we see right at the handoff here. His head's pointing this way. And he sees that's not an option. There's a dude here. Dude here. So he realizes that he has to make a decision. He cuts up this way. And he finds that little sliver. That little sliver that's going to open up. Right here. He finds that little sliver of a gap that's sealed off by these two guys here. Finds it. Runs through it. That was a really nice play. Because you see right here. He plants his foot. Cuts through that. It makes it for a first down. Really, really nice play. Here we go again. Now the run plays the outside. Has a lead blocker. Trying to get the corner. Pushes him to block number five. And is able to get a nice few extra yards. Really nice play. Running it just for the sake of running it now because it's later in the game. They're trying to secure a win. See him keeping, he keeps fighting, keeps fighting. But there's not much there for him. Just tries to lower his head and get a few yards. And it's a dead ball. Runs it this time. Has a nice little gap to run through. If he can shake number 29, he cannot... But he pushes himself close to the first down marker. Let's go back and watch that. Alright, look at the handoff. See it's kind of a, a almost like a a base play. Number 64 takes out this guy, leaving him a nice little bit of room to try to make something happen. Squeezes through the hole a little bit and is able to get close to the first down marker. Third and one, run play, and he just gets eaten alive. That should have been audible out of. You have that many guys in the box. But then again, it is third and one in the fourth quarter. Probably just trying to get a field goal to seal the game. And that's all that I have from this game with Michael P. Ryan. After watching him during several games last year and watching him several times this year, uh, I don't have him list listed going the first two days. I have him going the third day. He is a fourth rounder in my book. I think he could be a nice a nice running back to compliment your main guy. It's uh, it's a guy that you'll you'll want to put in the game to give your your number one running back uh, a break. That's my take on P. Ryan. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. 
Just want to offer a site that you can go to if you're interested in finding out the the hot topics in all of sports, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, hockey. Go to the website that I write for over time, heroics.net. Here you can, as you can see, there's lots of articles to choose from to read from a lot of talented writers. Go give us a check out. Also, if you're interested in discussing sports, come check out our forums page. We post daily on these forums and discuss daily different issues throughout all sports. Come check it out. Come pay us a visit, and we'll be glad to see you.